The Security Guard, Part 1. What is the security guard's job? Preface. This training program has been developed by certified professionals to help QHSE employees understand corporate social responsibility. To that end, our goal is to teach them the skills they need to better manage quality, health, safety and the environment. Continuous improvement and sustainable development are part of the development context our training program is aimed at. We create these videos to give all employees the tools and resources to have full control over these strategic areas. Lecture 1 Basic definitions, hazard, a hazard is any source or situation that can be harmful through personal injury, damage to the health of people or animals or property damage or a combination of these elements. Risk. Risk is the combination of the probability and consequences of the occurrence of a specific dangerous event. R equals PXC. Safety, it is a management system function that ensures prevention and protection against accidents, incidents, occupational diseases or burnout. Security, it is a management system function that ensures prevention and protection against illegal and malicious acts. Task of the Security Guard 1. Check the status of the electronic safety, security and protection systems and report malfunctions and failures. 2. Look for signs of the presence of a fire. 3. Triggers the alarm when a fire is detected. 4. Select the fire extinguishing mode according to the characteristics of the fire. 5. Try, if possible, to put out the fire. 6. Keep spectators at a safe distance and include in your report all contact details of victims and witnesses. 7. Determine the cause of the fire using accident investigation techniques. Eight. Establish a contact with clients, informing relevant staff members and managers. 9. Check the emergency exits and ensure that no obstacle obstructs the emergency routes and exits. 10. Activate the alarm system by following the prescribed procedure. 11. Provide first aid in case of emergency. 12. Indicates the deficiencies detected with regard to hygiene and safety. 13. Control the issuance of laissez passer. 14. Report errors in the issuance and return of keys and key cards and records. Reports irregularities in the issuance and return of keys.
15. Make sure the company's buildings are clean and tidy. 16. Discuss the mission information with colleagues and inform the relevant managers of the situation. 17. Addressing identified health and safety deficiencies as a part of your responsibility as a security officer. 18. Report people who do not comply with hygiene regulations. 19. Participate in and carry out rescue operations. 20. Maintain the safety equipment by following the instructions. 21. Protect clues that can prove the cause of an accident. Qualification Criteria for Security Guards One, conduct security and fire patrols. Two, ensure door security and access control. Three, ensure efficient communication in the control room with the data subjects. Four, building maintenance for security and fire protection purposes. Five, participate in the staff's emergency response. Six, participate in the recording and distribution of litigation to data subjects. 7. Oral communication, use of telephone and transceiver stations 8. Maintain good relationships with management, the public or customers. Advantageous skills. One, oral communication, a conflict resolution, the oral dissemination of information. Two, nonverbal communication, a use of computing and communication devices. B, use of written reports. Three, Interpersonal relationships, a positive attitude towards working with everyone, be respect and follow official guidelines. Safety equipment. Personal equipment, in order to properly perform their duties, security personnel must have the following items. 1. Notebook and pens. Security personnel must be able to record information about accidents immediately. 2. Flashlight, used for patrolling dark places or during power outages with lots of spare batteries and light bulbs. 3. Transceiver station, for connection to security personnel in an emergency. 4. Panic button, essential for security guards. This device can make emergency calls or help other people with security threats easily. 5. Protective clothing, security personnel should wear waterproof clothing, rubber boots and hard hats to protect them from potential hazards. The type of protective clothing may vary depending on the location. 6. Work clothing. Official clothing for security personnel required by the company. Functional equipment. The security guard should also be equipped with the equipment and clothing necessary to perform his duties, as well as other items necessary to carry out the rescue program. This material must contain the following elements depending on the location. 1. 
desk or other equipment on which the guard can write his reports and ensure the normal management of the security box. 2. Additional seats and tables, for the security guard and for other people, for example an injured person who is to receive first aid. 3. Cabinets, for storing books, documents and various materials. 4. A clock to record the time of an event or incident. 5. Trash kin, to keep the place clean and tidy. 6. Extra pens and paper. Seven. Telephone, authorization to receive incoming and outgoing calls in order to contact the emergency service if necessary. 8. Emergency phone, to receive notifications in case of emergency. 9. Locker and key box, large enough to hold all security keys. 10. Computer, the computer and its peripheral devices have become an integral part of security so the security officer can often provide all kinds of information immediately. 11. Fire extinguishers, essential components of safety measures to put out early fires that break out in the region. Twelve. Warning lights, to warn drivers of an impending danger on the construction site, since this is a mobile unit, provide extra lights and batteries or a charger. Thirteen. Emergency lighting. The emergency lighting system is very important in the safety box and ensures the transition in the event of a power failure. 14. Illumination lamp, for urgent, repairs in dark or poorly lit areas. 15. Smoke alarms, they are an essential part of fire protection and protective equipment today. 0.16. First aid kit, this device must be checked regularly to ensure that all components are in good condition and in sufficient numbers. 17. Drinking water and toilets. These facilities should also be located in the security lodge. 18. Kitchen equipment, with kettle, tea and coffee maker, hot plate or microwave. If possible, plan to have a small refrigerator as well to keep the food cool. 19. Lockers, for storing safety clothing. Please contact us and subscribe to our channel through your comments on this YouTube channel. Your participation and ideas are welcome. Many thanks. See you soon.